Hello there, once again, headed off to do another variation of a moderate volume leg workout. Feel free to give this a try or maybe even follow along. It's definitely a lot of fun and challenge level can vary depending on your fitness level. Okay, before I get to showing you guys uh, my leg workout, I will uh, like to say that it was more of a light to moderate intensity workout, not so much a true uh, moderate volume uh, workout, but more along the lines of light to moderate. And rather than uh, overlaying my video with the number of sets and reps, I've decided I'm going to kind of show you guys via structured query language, or known as SQL, what my workout consisted of. And this is something I've been self-teaching myself in my journey into the field of data science, and this is definitely a lot of fun. And so I've kind of pre-typed this, so I'm not spending forever doing this. And I can get to showing you guys my workout. And so I've created the table. And then I'm going to show you guys what I did for my workout. And there you have it. So my first exercise was, of course, barbell deadlifts. Number of sets, eight total reps, eight. 64 total reps. Recovery, two minutes. These are in minutes. And then, of course, the intensity was high. All the rest of my exercises were light to moderate. But there you have it, showing you guys some SQL and what my leg workout consisted of. All right, now time to get to the action. I would definitely say deadlifts are among my favorite exercises to do. Get why people skip out on leg day. Leg workouts are so fun. As a matter of fact, if I'm going to skip a workout, it will actually be an upper body workout that I'll skip over. But I try to never skip leg day. Leg day is definitely a blast. It hurts though too. Moving on to another fun leg exercise, a variation of a squat using this machine here. And I'm gonna be keeping my feet touching each other, working more of the outer thigh and making sure I get to at least 90 degrees on each and every rep. Definitely another fun leg exercise. Definitely keeping it light on this exercise. Went skiing a couple days ago. Okay. that I predominantly use my quadriceps. Uh, when I'm at the gym, I really like to focus more on my glutes and hamstrings to avoid having any significant strength imbalances between my quadriceps and hamstrings. So going light on this exercise, and then I'll be hammering on those hamstrings in my next exercise, which is sure to provide a lot of pain and enjoyment, or not really pain, more like muscle burn. Moving on to T1. 
TRX hamstring curls. <sighs> when doing hamstring curls using a TRX, make sure you keep your lower back off the ground. That's what enables you to really get that burn in your hamstrings. Definitely a lot more fun than using a machine. On my final leg exercise for a day, and it's gonna be a combination of working my glutes using a red resistance band, followed by 10 intermediate level box jumps. And it's sure to be a lot of fun. Might as well end on a really fun note before I head back home and continue on my data science journey on teaching myself some structured query language known as SQL. That wraps up my leg workout. Now I'm ready to really tackle that coding and SQL. I hope you guys enjoyed that bonus footage kind of working on what used to be called in the 70s when it came to freestyle skiing it was referred to as hot dog skiing front flips back flips 360s daffies twisters spreads back scratchers and talking about hot dogging i'm kind of in the mood for a hot dog right now and not just any old plain hot dog a chili cheese dog once again, thank you for watching, peace out.